after 6 months of daily usage. Ubuntu 24.04 LTS Noble Nomad has proven itself to be a competent, polished, and forward-looking release that strikes a balance between cutting-edge features and rock-solid stability. In this video, we will explore our initial setup and first impressions, daily performance and real-world usage, the standout new features, especially GNOME 46 enhancements, and Linux kernel 6.8, stability and reliability over the past half year, and finally, our overall verdict and future outlook. Now that Ubuntu 24.04 is well into its support lifecycle, by the end, you will know whether Ubuntu 24.04 is worth your time, what trade-off to expect, and how it has evolved since its April 2024 debut. Let's first start with the first impressions and initial setup. Ubuntu 24.04 LTS was officially released on April 25, 2024, introducing a refreshed installer, GNOME 46 desktop, Linux kernel 6.8, and numerous under the hood optimizations. The new installer, a GTK4 based experience, streamlined partitioning, OEM configuration support, and first boot flows, resulting in an installation process that felt modern and intuitive compared to prior versions. From the moment the live USB session booted, users noted snappier animations, quicker application launch times, and smoother graphics, thanks to better GPU driver integration out of the box. Within minutes of clicking through the initial setup wizard, the refreshed look of GNOME 46 impressed many. Round corners, expanded notifications, consolidated settings, and a more responsive activities overview. Early adapters praised Ubuntu 24.04's crisp default theme, Yaru, with higher DPI scaling support, making text and icon appear sharper on both laptop and desktop monitors. In our testing, installing on a mid-range laptop took under 10 minutes, and automatic updates pulled in essential firmware and driver packages immediately upon first login, reducing post-install paperwork. Now, daily usage and performance. Over the past 6 months, Ubuntu 24.04 has been used as a daily driver for web browsing, office productivity, media playback, light gaming and software development. Web browsers such as Firefox and Chromium launched almost instantaneously with no observable slowdowns, even when dozens of tabs were open. This was a noticeable improvement over Ubuntu 22.04, where occasionally jank sometimes occurred. Productivity applications like LibreOffice and GNOME Text Editor felt more responsive during document edits, thanks largely to GTK4 optimizations and updated libraries in Ubuntu 24.04's software stack. Software compilations task, example, building small C++ projects or Python packages. Completed marginally faster on kernel 6.8 when compared to the Linux kernel 5.15 on the same hardware. Thanks to the scheduler implements and newer driver frameworks. Media playback, local HD video and streaming services remained stutter free with no videos and VLC benefiting from updated VA API and Pipewire integration, yielding lower CPU usage and smoother playback. Gaming via Steam Proton on Ubuntu 24.04 exhibited minor improvements over 22.04, especially for titles optimized for recent drivers. However, performance varied depending on GPU vendor and game title. AMD users saw up to a 5% frame rate boost on a Threadripper systems. Battery life on laptops running Ubuntu 24.04 saw modest gains. Ideal power draws was approximately 2-3% lower than 22.04 on the same hardware. 
attributed to improved Intel and AMD power management drivers. Despite these improvements, some users reported occasionally CPU frequency scaling issues on certain OEM laptops, requiring manual tweaks in TLP or PowerDevil to maintain optimal battery longevity. Now, exploring new features. The first one will be the GNOME 46 enhancements. Ubuntu 24.04 ships with the GNOME 46, which brings a redesigned file manager with significantly faster search index and preview rendering in Nautilus. Notifications have been revamped. Action buttons now appear in line. And there is a consolidated Manage Notifications toggle in settings, reducing the number of clicks to silence or snooze alerts. The Quick Settings menu now groups toggles more logically. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and VPN controls are easier to access and battery percentage is displayed prominently, making power management more transparent. GNOME Web, which is if any, received new video conferencing plugin support, reducing CPU usage during meetings and providing smoother camera feeds, thanks to PyFire improvements. Multitasking features in GNOME 46 allow resizing windows by dragging any edge not just the bottom or right side. Streamlining window management for power users. The second one is Linux Kernel 6.8 and Core Stack. Kernel 6.8 introduced improved hardware support for newer Intel Elder Lake and AMD Ryzen 7000 series CPUs, delivering lower latencies and better power efficiency. The new kernel also offers updated AMD GPU drivers, which for AMD Radon users translated into smoother video playback and fewer screen tearing artifacts when using non X11 compositors. Ubuntu 24.04's release note highlight year 2038 support for ARM HF architecture, future proofing Raspberry Pi, and other ARM boards for decades to come. Pipeware 1.0 is now default for audio handling, replacing pulse audio. This provides lower audio latency, better Bluetooth codec support including LDAC and aptX, and simpler screen sharing in VLAN sessions. Snap package performance was improved under Ubuntu 24.04 by introducing a smaller base snap and deferred startup mechanism reducing application launch overhead by roughly 10%. Now third one is the security and server-side features. Ubuntu 24.04 includes OpenSSL 3.0 as default, bringing stronger cryptographic primitives and deprecating older insecure ciphers. Live patch is now enabled by default for critical kernels allowing administrators to apply kernel patches without rebooting. A crucial feature for servers and workstations requiring maximum uptime. Enhanced Active Directory integration via System Security Services Daemon SSD 2.0 allows seamless domain joins for enterprise environments, simplifying users and policy management. Now. Stability and Reliability Throughout these six months, Ubuntu 24.04 has been notably stable, but not entirely free of hiccups. The most common issue reported involved conflicts between the new NTFS driver and the NTFS 3G package, causing certain external drives to occasionally fail to mount. A subset of users experienced Docker desktop compatibility problems. Initially, Docker did not officially support Ubuntu 24.04 due to app armor namespace changes, requiring manual syscontrol adjustments to resolve permissions errors. Several reports on community forums indicated live USB persistence 
was unreliable on some older systems, forcing users to resort to non-persistent try modes until fixes were released. Despite these teething problems, major desktop crashes have been rare. Gnome Shell has crashed only once or twice over half a year, often self-recovering without data loss. Server deployments on cloud providers which is AWS, Azure, GCP found Ubuntu 24.04 to be exceptionally reliable with live patch and unattended upgrade defaults reducing the window for critical vulnerabilities. Periodic kernel updates example 24.04.1 and 24.04.2 addressed many early adapters bugs. For instance, Ubuntu 24.04.2 rolled in GNOME 46.9 further tightening performance and ironing out minor graphical glitches. Long-term support which is LTS commitment for Ubuntu 24.04 now extends to 12 years through April 2036. Matching enterprise offerings such as RHEL and guaranteeing security updates and bug fixes far into the future. Now finally, the verdict and future outlook. After 6 months of real-world usage, Ubuntu 24.04 LTS emerges as a solid, reliable choice for both desktop and server environments. Let's first start with the pros. The updated GNOME 46 desktop is snappier and more user-friendly. Kernel 6.8 brings robust hardware support. Live patch keeps system secure without reboots. And 12-year support provides peace of mind for enterprises. Now let's talk about the cons. Some hardware edge cases, NTFS mounting, Docker compatibility and live USB persistence require manual workarounds until cumulative updates roll out. For new users seeking a stable and modern Linux desktop that just works, Ubuntu 24.04 is arguably the best LTS to date. However, power users reliant on bleeding edge features or specialized hardware may want to monitor specific bug reports before upgrading immediately. Looking ahead, Ubuntu 24.04's point releases which is 24.04.3 and 24.04.4 will continue rolling in GNOME 48 and Linux kernel 6.10 backports, further enhancing performance and compatibility without sacrificing stability. With 12 years of updates guaranteed, any organization or individual who values long-term reliability and robust community support will find Ubuntu 24.04 to be a future-proof platform. Well worth the switch. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.